Johnny Flores. As you can see, I bought one of those solar trailers. Now the thing is completely standalone. It's got uh, 2,000 pounds, no I'm sorry, 4,000 pounds worth of batteries uh, in the back. And it's got two of those uh, Sunny Island inverters. And it's got 10 panels. And if you plug shit into it right now, like a heater, a lamp, a radio, what have you, it works great. However, if I plug the RV into it, it trips the GFI outlet. All the outlets, in fact, are GFI uh, controlled. But it trips it. Now, here's the thing. By itself, the RV runs fine. It's plugged into the, uh, the hut over there, and life is good. But it occurs to me that if I yank that cord out of the wall and then try to bring it back here and plug it into this thing, I'm using this uh, extension cord with an adapter. Because it's, uh, it's only a 30 amp draw uh, total on the RV. And in all honesty, when I tried this experiment before, I only had the, uh, the flat screen TV in there going, and that thing draws only 35 watts. So it barely is drawing shit. But here's what I'm thinking. If I pull that thing out of the socket over there and try to plug it in over here, because that RV is sitting up on four rubber tires, it is now floating in the world as far as a ground goes. And I'm wondering, I don't know if the right term is bonding, but I'm wondering if there needs to be an electrical connection between the frame of that thing and the frame of this thing. So they're both sharing the same ground without relying on going through the other uh, GFI, if that makes sense. Anyway, tell me what you think. And uh, talk to you later.